All right, so I bet you're probably wondering where my hat went. Well, I guess you could say I took it off. <laughs> I want to talk about KDP and where I think beginner self-publishers should publish. From my experience, I started off using Kobo. And it's not as easy. There's a lot, you know, it's whatever. There's a lot less readers. I would go with KDP. Specifically within KDP, there are various facets to KDP. But I would go with putting your book for free, for the free promotion. I think it's for five days you can do. And it slowly goes up in increments to your original set price, whatever price you select. Kindle Unlimited retains exclusivity of your ebook for 90 days, but they do a lot of the legwork for advertising and all that other stuff. It's a good program for beginners because, quite frankly, your book is probably going to suck. And I mean, it might not, but it lets you sort of build a profile and expand your author name. Now, they do tend to prefer books in fiction and as well books in a series for obvious reasons. It's based on pages read, which I think is 0.0012 cents per page. So the more pages you have, the more money you make. I wouldn't expect to get rich off it, but it is good to get your f feet in the door and get your feet wet. There are various other facets to Amazon. You can just do the regular, you know, where it's on the marketplace and anyone can look it up. You can use your own website, which is probably the best because you get to keep the royalties. There's also expanded distribution, which puts your books into international markets and while it might sound good, actually does somewhat limit your reach. You need to find what works best for you, where your target readers are, because it's different for everybody. And personally, I found me with my novella, A New Home. A novella is a book that's around 15 to 40,000 words, roughly. And a novel starts at 40,000 words. So my novella did pretty well in the KDP or the Kindle Unlimited partnership or whatever. I then decided to do a pre-order and the pre-order I got a decent chunk of people that enjoyed my first book and so they pre-ordered it and now once I finish it'll automatically be uploaded to their Kindle. So it's, I mean, you can't guarantee that they're actually going to read it, but it is much more likely that they will. Plus you might get new readers, etc. that want to go back or whatever. The best app or platform for you to use at the time is when you're first starting out, the Kindle Book Creator, as well as the you, know, you could use Google Docs or Microsoft Office Online. There are tons of different ways to do it. But I would suggest for a beginner to just use Amazon. Use the whole Kindle package and just get a couple books out there. See how the publishing world works because there are so many facets to it. You're just going to confuse yourself. So just go with what's easiest and Amazon does a lot of the work for you because they own a majority of the book market. I mean, not here in Canada specifically. I believe that Kobo and the Apple iStore own most of it. Now, Kindle does st still have a pretty good presence in Canada, but they got zero in New Zealand. And it just, it depends. So you need to find your target audience and then market towards them.